Ah, do you remember that moment? The one where you stumbled upon a 1976 TV series that felt like an unexpected burst of laughter in the midst of a mundane day. Yes, Three's Company, a title that might still bring a smile to your face. It was that era when sitcoms were laced with innocence and humor, and this show had a unique knack for tickling your funny bow. Whether you were introduced to the escapades of Jack, Janet, and Chrissy through late-night reruns or by stumbling upon your parents' old DVD collection, there's something undeniably nostalgic about that initial encounter. Maybe it was the quirky misunderstandings or the cleverly orchestrated chaos that unfolded within their apartment that got you hooked. Or perhaps it was the witty one-liners that echoed in your mind for days, making you chuckle even when you least expected it. And who could forget those memorable moments? That time when Jack donned ridiculous disguises just to keep their quirky living arrangement a secret from the landlord, Mr. Roper. Or when the gang's well-intentioned plans went hilariously awry, leading to a series of uproarious mishaps. These characters became like old friends, inviting you to their world and making you feel right at home amidst the laughter. But let's delve a bit deeper, shall we? Beyond the chuckles and snickers, there are some fascinating tidbits about the show that might surprise you. So, fasten your seatbelt as we journey through some random facts about Three's company, unearthing anecdotes that might just make you appreciate the show even more. Now, without further ado, let's uncover the hidden gems and behind-the-scenes stories that make Three's company an enduring classic. So, get ready to indulge in some TV nostalgia and relive the moments that made you laugh all those years ago. It's time to celebrate the charm of this beloved series, a show that never fails to evoke a grin. Get ready to explore, reminisce, and maybe even discover something new. Overview, Three's Company is a classic American sitcom that aired from 1976 to 1984. Created by Don Nishal, Michael Ross, and Bernie West, the show originated from the British series Man About the House. Set in Santa Monica, California, the series follows the humorous misunderstandings and predicaments of three roommates who share an apartment to save on rent costs. The central character, Jack Tripper, pretends to be gay in order to live with his two female roommates, Janet Wood and Chrissy Snow, due to societal norms of the time. Iconic characters, the show's main characters are Jack Tripper, a culinary student played by John Ritter, Janet Wood, a pragmatic florist portrayed by Joyce DeWitt, and Chrissy Snow, an endearingly naive secretary played by Susan Summers. These characters navigated various comedic situations often stemming from their unconventional living arrangement and mistaken identities. Unique style, Three's Company is characterized by its physical comedy, witty one-liners, and slapstick humor. The series employed a classic farce structure, using misunderstandings and miscommunications to drive the plot. The sexual innuendos and double entendres, though considered risque for its time, added to the show's distinct comedic style. Impact on popular culture, the show became a cultural phenomenon, reflecting changing societal attitudes towards relationships and cohabitation. It broke barriers by addressing topics such as sexuality, friendship, and gender roles in a lighthearted manner. Three's company significantly contributed to the normalization of conversations around such themes on television. The series also propelled John Ritter to stardom and influenced subsequent sitcoms that incorporated similar humor and situational setups. Main content, random facts about Three's Company. The show's title was inspired by the phrase Two's Company, Three's a Crowd. Norman Fell and Audra Lindley played the Ropers, the original landlords, before getting their own spin-off series, The Ropers. Susan Summers faced contract disputes during the show's run, resulting in her temporary replacement and eventual departure. Don Knotts joined the cast as Ralph Furley after the departure of The Ropers, adding a new layer of comedic dynamics. The show's theme song, Come and Knock on Our Door, became instantly recognizable and synonymous with the series. Conclusion, Three's Company left an indelible mark on television history through its innovative approach to comedy, bold themes, and unforgettable characters. Its influence on subsequent sitcoms and its willingness to tackle social issues through humor solidified its place in the annals of pop culture, demonstrating the power of laughter to challenge norms and build connections. Norman Fell's memorable camera moments in Three's Company in the uproarious world of the 1976 TV series Three's Company, one comedic element stood out for its audacious charm. Norman Fell's camera-breaking humor, portraying the cantankerous landlord Stanley Roper, 
Fell had a knack for delivering hilariously sharp insults aimed at Audra Lindley's character, Helen Roper. What set these moments apart was Fell's daring glance directly into the camera, a sly invitation for the audience to share in his delight. It wasn't just the witty barbs that made these scenes iconic, but the unique twist Fell added by breaking the fourth wall. As the laughter echoed on set, Fell's unapologetic look into the camera intensified the mirth, creating a connection that transcended the screen. This comedic approach became one of the show's trademarks, a blend of traditional sitcom humor and a touch of subversive engagement. Fell's direct-to-camera laughter wasn't just a quirk, it was a reflection of the show's innovative approach to comedy. The series capitalized on this distinctive trait, which drew viewers deeper into the story, building a sense of camaraderie between the audience and the characters. The resulting dynamic added layers of entertainment and a personal touch to the already uproarious narrative. As fans fondly reminisce about the antics of Three's company, Norman Fell's camera-breaking moments continue to be a testament to the show's ability to push comedic boundaries. The legacy of his unabashed laughter into the lens remains etched in television history, reminding us of the show's unparalleled ability to unite laughter and connection. Don Knotts' support for Susan Summers amid pay dispute in the tumultuous world of television. Camaraderie on set is often overshadowed by the relentless demands of show business. Such was the case with the iconic 1976 TV series Three's Company, where a dramatic pay dispute led to the termination of actress Susan Summers. Yet amidst the chaos, an unexpected ally emerged in the form of Don Knotts. Don Knotts, celebrated for his role in The Andy Griffith Show, was no stranger to salary negotiations gone awry. A decade prior, he found himself at odds with the executive producer and his co-stars over a pay raise. In a surprising turn of events, history repeated itself on the set of Three's Company. Susan Summers' demand for a higher salary led to a tense standoff with the producers and her castmates. As tensions escalated and the cast shunned Summers, Don Knotts took a stand that raised eyebrows and hearts. Drawing from his own experience, he bridged the gap between Summers and her estranged co-stars. With a quiet determination, he declared, Excuse me, I'm going to go talk to Susan, effectively conveying his unwavering support. This gesture of solidarity was a testament to the intricate dynamics of Shoba's camaraderie. Knott's intervention resonated with those who had witnessed similar power struggles before. His act of compassion momentarily united a divided ensemble. Although the show's journey was marred by Summer's departure, it served as a pivotal moment for understanding the challenges faced by women in the industry. The incident laid bare the systemic sexism that prevailed as highlighted by the recent reunion between Joyce Dewitt and Susan Summers. In a candid YouTube video event hosted by Cafe Mom, both actors candidly attributed much of the turmoil to the deeply ingrained prejudices of the era's show producers. Pigs, Summers vehemently exclaimed, echoing the sentiments of Dewitt. The two actresses, who had not spoken for three decades after Summers' exit, were unified in their critique of the industry's treatment of female talent. Priscilla Barnes, who later joined the cast, dubbed the show's producers abusive and lamented that her time on Three's Company marked the unhappiest years of her professional career. It was a chapter in television history that exposed the harsh realities hidden behind the glitz and glamour of the screen. The legacy of Three's Company transcends its laughter-filled episodes, serving as a reminder that even amidst the laughter, a more profound battle was being waged behind the scenes. In the annals of television, the story of Don Knotts' support for Susan Summers stands as a testament to the complexities of the entertainment world. His act of solidarity, stemming from his own trials, serves as a timeless reminder of the importance of unity in the face of adversity. Numerous guest actors intriguing double roles in Three's company in the vibrant tapestry of 1,976 seconds television landscape. Three's company stood out as a comedic gem, but it wasn't just the central trio that shot. The show's penchant for inviting guest actors and actresses to play multiple roles added an extra layer of intrigue. One standout was Jeffrey Tambor, a versatile performer who deftly portrayed three distinct characters during the show's run. However, Tambor wasn't the sole thespian to embrace this unique challenge. As the curtains rose on the show's narrative, a parade of familiar faces graced the screen in different guises, showcasing their adaptability. 
It wasn't just about artistic range. It was also a testament to the creative universe that Three's company inhabited, one where the boundaries of comedic exploration were constantly pushed. Tambor's ability to slip into divergent roles within the same show was remarkable. But his journey didn't end there. He carried his talents over to the spin-off series The Ropers, where he seamlessly integrated into yet another character. This metamorphic display highlighted the synergy between actors and writers, a dynamic that underpinned the show's longevity. Three's company wasn't just about its lead trio, it was a tapestry of characters, each thread carefully woven to create an unforgettable comedic ensemble. The inclusion of guest actors in multiple roles added depth to the narrative, elevating the sitcom beyond its laugh-out-loud moments into a captivating exploration of human interaction, misunderstanding, and the art of disguise. In the annals of television history, Three's Company remains a prime example of how guest actors' versatility can enrich a show's storytelling tapestry. Jeffrey Tambor's masterful performances stand as a testament to the creative synergy that defines timeless television. As we bid adieu to the world of Three's Company, we're left with more than just a series finale. We're left with a treasure trove of laughter, wit, and those unforgettable moments that have woven themselves into the fabric of our lives. The antics of Jack, Janet, Chrissy, along with Mr. Roper's eye-rolling charm and Mrs. Roper's eccentricities, created a symphony of chuckles that reverberates through time. As you reflect on your personal connection with Three's company, you might find yourself transported to a simpler era, a time when innocent misunderstandings were the heart of the comedy, and the apartment door was a portal to a world of uproarious camaraderie. Perhaps you've shared moments with friends, family, or even your own quirky roommates, drawing parallels between your experiences and the hilarity that unfolded in the Regal Beagle and Apartment 201. Now, as we turn the final page on this chapter, I invite you to share your cherished memories, the moments that have stayed with you, and the connections you've formed with the characters that became like old friends. Your unique perspective adds another layer to the legacy of Three's company, transforming it from a show to a shared experience that spans generations. So, let's keep the spirit alive, drop a line about your favorite scenes, the one-liners that still make you chuckle, or the unforgettable friendships you've forged with the characters who made us all feel like part of their delightful chaos. Thank you for taking the time to journey down memory lane with Three's company. Your thoughts and memories make this journey all the more rewarding. Warmest regards, your name.